I love the scene where Melissa addresses um, all of the nuns and, uh, you know, it basically is telling them that the reform is implying that their work to date is, you know, makes them no less special. They don't no, no longer have a closer seat to God in heaven, according to the Catholic Church. Um, and I think that scene is uh, really heartbreaking and uh, beautiful. But yeah, it's kind. That one's kind of my favorite too, just because of the. I mean, Melissa does such a beautiful job, and then the extras were so with her, and so, and you, you have, to, well, <laughs> you guys probably haven't seen the movie, but the extras had did not have the script. They didn't have the information. They were just sort of told, like, you're going to be something, you're going to be told something in the middle of this, uh, in the middle of this uh, speech that basically invalidates your sense of purpose in life, and you're free to cry, or you're free to, and then, I, you know, I think they were just so with Melissa, because Melissa's work was so beautiful, and they just... I was just astounded and never anticipated that that this room full of extras would just sort of unite in this moment. And I just, it was very like touching to me how committed everybody was, but particularly these women that didn't even, that were there for the day and didn't know what the, didn't, they hadn't read the script, so they didn't really understand everything. Yeah, that's an amazing feeling when your extras get involved like that. Because, so yeah. They're just, they're it's like a like gift. It's just, they're just so giving. Like, it's just, they don't have to. I mean, you know. Yeah. There's like, where's holding? Like, yeah, 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 I mean. <laughs> Dana? Um, I'll talk about a different scene then. Um, <laughs> you all have the favorite the <laughs> scene. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, uh, I mean, I have, if I'm thinking about two, like the ones that I filmed, I loved the moment where I was telling the girls that I was leaving and kind of that, like, that was also, I think, the last thing that I shot. And that was really heartbreaking and it just felt so r real. So when I, played that and when I saw it in the movie I just remembered how much that felt really real. I find it I, I find it hard to choose a favorite scene. Um, but I loved I loved that one in particular also and, and, and just something overall I, I just as Maggie said and I didn't have as much experience with all of the the sisters but that feeling of of them being part of this thing was really beautiful and um, and and bringing that story of these women giving their whole lives to this one thing and then having it yanked away and seeing that land on them and those beautiful real faces of all ages, I just I just love I love that that side. I thought Maggie did such a beautiful job capturing that. The, the, those the extras down in uh, Nashville were extraordinary, and that is you know there there of course as all kinds of people in the world, but my experience of our um, the extras in our union, our comrades in arms, those women, the young and the elders and the ones of all age that joined us with great seriousness day after day and much too much smoke and kneeling on stone floors and the work that those women put in is an extraordinary part of the film. I do not choose favorites ever of anything. I am such a lucky girl that gets to do this amazing thing. But when you ask the question, the thing that comes to my mind is to watch this mother-daughter relationship between these two phenomenal actors as it as you are introduced to, to them and as it grows and as it changes o over time. That mother-daughter relationship is, is an extraordinary part of the film. <laughs>